Why do I have to explain this? Every should everybody should know about Cassidy, considering she's my main OC for like everything. We all know the story by now, right? Wrong. Well, I'll tell you the story again, just so you fools know it for sure. Cassidy was born in a way humans and monsters had no idea was possible. If you take a human and monster soul, split them in half, and put the two separate halves together, you get a new life form. After the soul is created, either the human or monster, depending on who is weaker, dies. But their remaining soul half connects with the other remaining half, and they live in their survivor's consciousness. Cassidy Tenor was a result of this strange mixture. <laughs> and had to live with her father, who happened to be monster, which he had survived, due to being stronger than her mother. Normally, the result of a soul creation, the life form would be an anti, not human or monster. Unfortunately, Cassidy ended up with the flat title of human, due to showing no signs of any monster parts or even magic abilities. Cassidy lived with her father for a long time and she'll f until she found out she had a brother. Ah, great. Her brother had been created before her, but was done so by experiments and not souls. The way it was done was the scientist took a human soul vessel and extracted the parent's DNA, adding it to the soul vessel and waiting until it created an anti-soul. A long time! <sighs> she set off to find him and left her father waiting for her return. Not long after, she found her brother living a normal life in the city of humans. He too looked normal and had no physical monster parts. He saw Cassidy and their souls made, made a strange connection as they realized who they were to each other. They both returned to the place they called home, which was still underground because some monsters stayed and some left after the barrier was broken. When their father saw his long lost son, he introduced Pyro to Cassidy. Months passed, up, months passed by, but they talked for hours on end, 24-7, with little breaks in between. A few years later, Pyro was 17 and Cassidy was 15. Pyro had gotten a strange feeling emitting from the surface and promised Cassidy and their father he would return soon. Cassidy was an emotional wreck and hugged him goodbye. Pyro left only to not return, so Cassidy and her father got into an argument, which she won, and she left to find Py Pyro. <laughs> Cassidy made her way to the surface and came to face to face with her adopted sister, Cross. Not important to the story. Cross was in distress and carried a pistol in her hand. Cassidy asked if she knew where Pyro was, but Cross took, a, put, took this as a threat. She had no idea who Pyro was because she had been in the city prior to Cassidy and Pyro's re reuniting and uh, was extremely worried. She knew that Pyro meant fire, which is bad. And they ended up getting into a fight. Cross shot Cassidy because she's a dumb dumb. And yeah, she shot her in the head. Pyro's horrible feeling gone away because bad thing happened. And he realized something happened. It was bad. He followed his gut to where he assumed the tragedy had happened. Only to see his sister dead on the floor. Bleeding out. Cassidy's soul was about to shatter. But he grabbed it and he released his power and revived revealed his uh, anti-form. The, the burst of power caused um, her soul to reconnect and uh, yeah, it stopped breaking by force. Cassidy, li Cassidy was alive but would be out for a while. The anti-part of her was released upon her revive and she grew wings and horns similar to her brothers but had angel wings instead. After Pyro had done this, he decided to try and find out who shot her. Moments later, Cassidy woke up woke, woke up confused. She glitched as she woke up and held her head. She's in pain. Since she was supposed to be dead, she would have severe glitches at times, but would end up okay. Pyro did bring her back, but she was not supposed to be alive, so she has some minor setbacks. That's the story I have for Cassidy, and I'm sure by my older animations, you guys can tell, there is still some story to this character. You may know the character with long hair, dark skin. You may know a character with long hair, dark skin, and a ripped blue turtleneck. Known as Cosmos. He's one of my characters I adopted from my girlfriend to make him a uh, family with my OC Cassidy. 
and I ended up using him less and less as I developed the backstory for Cassidy, but I plan on bringing him back later into new animations. Few of you knew, know who Coms Cosmos is, so I can explain it a little. The way it's supposed to go is after Cassidy wakes up and all that yada yada, now she's an anti, she learns how to hide her anti farm and decides it's time to try something else in her life. She moves to the surface into an apartment. She stays there and sometimes leaves to do fun things. Eventually, she meets a boy in a blue long sleeve, sleeve turtleneck. Guess who it is? It's Cosmos! And, uh, yeah. And, yeah. His eyes were a bit worrying considering the whites and yellow yay eyes. Um, she fell in love with him and they got to know each other. One day, Cosmos invaded on Cassidy's privacy. <sighs> And saw who she really was, seeing her wings and horns. He w he panicked. He ran for his life. He got he got out of where he was quickly and set fire to the house with fire magic he didn't know he had, which ended up bringing his long sle burning his long sleeves off. Cassidy fled the burning house and caught up with Cosmos. Cosmos is in a panic. He looked like he was had a major loss of brain cells. Cassidy calmed him down, showing him he was harm she was harmless, and they decided to restart the relationship. They had a kid named Austin who was gay. The end.